Alrighty, guys, let's let's have a chat. So uh, I don't think this has been super widespread news, but as the days go by since this last weekend, more and more people have been talking about this. Uh, I've been getting tagged on a few posts all over Facebook, and man, I've just seen so many news people, uh, news outlets, uh, whatever you want to call them, websites, blogs, literally just regurgitating the same information. Um, but let's talk about uh, the article that came out recently about Toyota charging people to use remote start on their key fobs. So a little bit of quick backstory is I think this all got started with uh, like a subreddit uh, where somebody had posted up that Toyota was going to start charging to use remote start with your key. Um, and then it got picked up by the drive, I think was the first website, news publication source, whatever you want to call it, that picked it up. Um, they were the ones I think broke the article. And then literally, I've, there's probably been 15 or 20 or more, uh, all kinds of news stations and websites and blogs and Facebook posts that have just taken the same information that was posted. Nobody has fact-checked anything. Uh, nobody has clarified anything. And they've just been regurgitating this information uh, to the masses. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and set the record straight. I don't know how much of a following uh, I have for getting this uh, set up, but nobody's really corrected it that much except for a few people in comments online. But this is false. So again, what the article is stating is that after the first year of owning your uh, Toyota, um, and specifically Toyota does have a really kind of confusing way to decipher which cars even have the availability for remote start. That's a whole another conversation for another day. They do have a chart for each vehicle. Uh, it's basically based on the stereo, basically the screen that comes in the car. If it's the uh, higher trim stereo for the vehicle with the bigger screen usually, uh, then the option for remote start with the key and through the remote connect app is enabled. So again, look that up if you're curious if your car has it, if the one you're looking at will have it. Um, that's a whole other conversation for another day. Toyota sucks at integrating that into their model lineup. But anywho, so the article was saying that after the first year of owning your car, you would no longer be able to do remote start whatsoever without paying either $8 a month or $80 a year um, for that service. And they're basically saying that the headline says that, uh, you know, Toyota is going to start charging a subscription for you to start your car with your key. And that's the part that's false. So the partial truth to this is yes. If you have the connected services app, which has a ton of different features that you can have in there, there's like emergency connect, there's a remote connect, there's a few different things. The remote connect specifically will let you remote start your car from your phone's app or your watch, like your Apple watch or whatever, uh, or a tablet or something like that. So if you are outside of the range of your key fob, think of like maybe you're in the office at work or you're in the movie theater and your car's out in the parking lot, there's definitely some, some instances where you might want to start your car via the phone uh, versus uh, the key fob. Uh, you can also see like how much miles you have and how full your tank is and all that kind of stuff. But the remote starts the key feature. That is called remote connect, not remote start, remote connect. And the way it works is, yes, if you buy a new Toyota that has that service, it's free for the first year, it's included. Um, if you want to continue that service after the first year, yes, it is $8 a month. Uh, or $80 a year for the remote connect on your phone. If you still want to do remote start with your key fob, you don't have to pay for that after the first year. You don't have to pay for that at all. As long as you basically just have where, you know, the location services on your car, I think might be turned on. I think it's the only stipulation, but you do not have to pay to use your key fob to start the car. Um, I'm going to go ahead and post up a little screenshot here of the actual information pulled from Toyota's website that confirms this. How this keeps getting missed is beyond me because it specifically states that after 2018, they have fixed any bugs or any software programming that on a 2018 or newer car, you do not need to pay, do not need to pay for the remote connect um, to get the remote start on the key. It's plainly stated right there. Uh, everybody's just confusing the... Uh, remote connect with remote start and that's been the confusion and I totally get why there's confusion but I don't get that nobody has verified this and has come out and actually said that it's false 
and there's been all kinds of people talking about oh Toyota's just going for a cash grab and whatever now do I personally think that Toyota should charge people to use that app service no but who am I I mean I have no control over that you know plenty of other vehicles like Ford and other manufacturers allow you to do that uh, from a phone app for free and it's been that way for years so you know that's not my personal you know choice for Toyota to charge for that remote connect app for the key fob works no matter what um, so I'm gonna again screenshots post it up I'll put it up again if I need to uh, it's pulled right off the Toyota website it's not doctored or anything uh, but just to kind of drive the point home um, we've got several vehicles that I could do this with on our lot here um, but I currently am sitting in a 2019 uh, RAV4 Limited. This one does have the correct radio screen that's needed um, to enable this software at least so that the key will work with it and I will show you how that works momentarily. All right so here again is that 2019 RAV4 Limited. Um, this technically is a one owner car but it's 2019 so it's pretty much three years old at this point and there's just no way I could believe that uh, somebody would be paying for the remote services on this app um, this long after it's been here because we've actually had it at least a month or so um, but I'll show you this the work again it depends on the radio in the car but if you're curious if your car does it and you just want to walk out and do the same thing every Toyota that does remote start with the key will do it this way all right so here's the key fob of course so you're gonna lock it once push it a second time and then you're gonna press and hold it the third time you'll press and hold it see the lights will start to flash and then it is started. You can see the lights are currently flashing there. Engine's running. Now you can cancel that. So you can cancel that if you need to. It'll also time out if it wants to. And then once it's started, it does kick off once you come up to the car and basically have you start the car again the normal way. All right, so that is it. Um, again, I don't know how far this video is going to make it uh, or if anybody even cares, but I've seen this post shared around so many times. I just want to try to set the record straight. I swear to God, if we're still having this conversation like a week or two from now and nobody on the big news sources or any of these big blog websites has corrected this, I might lose my mind. Uh, but that is it. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys want to say in the comments about this. Uh, do you agree with Toyota about having to charge for the remote connect? Um, have you had problems with your car uh, not having the remote start on the key fob working after your um, connected services free trial has ended? Uh, but I'd love to hear about it. Uh, if, if you found someone has corrected this um, and put out a statement on it, I'd love to put a, you know, somebody put a link in the comments down below um, so I can see that and maybe get some more sleep at night. I, I don't know. I guess I don't really care that much. Uh, but that's it for today. Uh, thanks so much for watching. As always, have a great day.